What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction and on this video, it's going to be a tutorial video. So this thing's going to be pretty amazing because today I'm going to teach you guys how to play GameCube games on your iPhone or iPad devices. So like I said, uh, this is only going to be for Apple devices and this also kind of depends on what kind of iPhone you have. So if you have the iPhone X or the, if you have the iPhone XS or the 11, uh, the GameCube will or like the GameCube emulator will run pretty well. I'm not sure what would happen if you have an iPhone 8 or like a weaker iPad, but if you guys wanna try it, go right ahead. Um, there's no risk to this. So if you try to install this, it won't break your uh, device or anything. So yeah, you guys don't have to worry about that. But just do take caution on what type of system that you have or what type of uh, uh, device that you have because the, it depends. it depends on how old your model is. The older the model, the less likely the game's gonna function correctly. Like it's gonna lag a lot. But if you have a newer model, such as the iPad Pro 3 or the iPhone XS or even the 10 or the 11, it will probably work well. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go on Google Chrome or, or Microsoft Edge, whichever you prefer, and go to this website called outstore.io. I'll have a link to it in the description. And all you have to do is, uh, Download out server for either Mac OS or Windows, which whichever you have a Mac computer or a Windows, like I said, and once you download it, go to your files or go to your downloads, then find the little file that you download and go on out installer.msi, press next and just go through the entire uh, setup instructions. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing bad's going to happen to your computer. Anyways, it's just going to install it. Then once you do that, you have to restart your uh, computer and once you do that once you're back here in the main menu all you have to do now is go over here and you see this little diamond shaped icon over here that says out store so here you're gonna have to click on install out store so once you do that you go on let's say my ipad right here or whatever device you plug it into your computer uh with the usb so you just press on it and it's gonna ask you for your apple id and your password and once you do that it's going to give you a six digit code that you have to uh go on your device to allow it for to give you the code and once you put input those codes it will install the out store onto your device so once you have that done uh i'll see you guys on the ipad so here we are we're back on the ipad well actually we've already on the ipad we didn't we never went on it but anyway sorry about that um as you guys can see, you'll see the outstore that's installed on your device, but you're not going to be able to use it yet. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to settings, then general, then all you scroll all the way down where it says device management. And from there, uh, you just have to press on device management and just press on the app, the outstore app. And basically it's going to say it's an untrusted developer. And all you have to do is just, just click trust anyway, or just, you know, just trust it. Once you click on that, you go back, you're going to be able to go into the out store. And what you have to do next is go to settings and put in your Apple ID so you can actually use this thing more effectively. And once you've done that, um, you're going to head out of this app, go to Safari, because now we're going to find the emulator. So now let's actually go find the emulator. I actually uh, just, you know, you could pretty much surf. I mean, you could pretty much surf the web and put Dolphin dolphin ios i already have it right here i'll have it in the description so it can be easier for you guys so just scroll down um basically it's not that difficult uh just scroll down and just look for the ipa file and it's actually right here so let me show you guys from the home screen because it's it's mainly going to take you to the home screen um so actually is it going to take you to the home screen yeah it's going to take you to the home screen but it doesn't really matter so once you do that just pretty much go scroll down until you see non jailbroken devices because I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't have jailbroken devices at all. So just you just have to click download the IPA. It's going to ask you to download. Of course, you have to press yes. And once it's downloaded, then you go to files and you can see the file right here. So once you do that, just once it's done downloading, all you have to do is just hold down on it and click share and just take it immediately to the out store. But since I already did that, I don't really have to do anything else. So just wait for it to install. Just go back to the out store. You'll see a loading bar on the top where it says no updates available. Once it's finished, 
go back to settings just in case this is a just in case thing because I kind of forgot how this worked again. <laughs> Sorry, not the best way to say it, but you just basically go to device management again and just, you know, trust the program just like you did before with the outstore. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for the emulator. So it works perfectly. It works fine. But now it's a matter of finding the games. So since we are doing a lot of Battle for Bikini Bottom, we are going to search for a Battle for Bikini Bottom app. So what I recommend is going to this website called vim.net because that's like where you had like all the best um, ROMs and you could download them very easily. So once you find your Battle for B Bikini Bomb copy, all you have to do right here is just click download. And then it's going to ask you if you want to download it. So yeah, but the first thing that you should probably notice is that there is a 7Z at the end of it. That's a that's a file extension. We need it's it's has to be an ISO file. So since I already downloaded it, I'm not going to download it right now. Um, for those of you guys that haven't yet, make sure you do. So you go back to files. And once it's done downloading, you're going to see it right here. Of course, it's just going to be a blank piece of paper because, you know, Apple was not really keen on mention keen on like reading 7Z files. So if you try to share it on Dolphin, it's not going to work. It's not going to let you even share it. So what you're going to have to do now is go to the app store and search for this app called Unzip. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. And once you have it installed, just go straight to the app. And basically, all you have to do is just import something. You know, um, what you have to do basically is first, before you actually enter the Unzip app, sorry, my mistake, is you have to go to Files, and then you have to take it, you have to share it, and put it on the Unzip. Since I already did that, I don't have to. Uh, so let's head back to the Unzip. So you're going to see this one that's you're going to see like these little orange folders. Those are the ones that are compressed. So what you have to do is actually tap on it. And then you have to wait for this pinwheel to stop. So it might take a while depending on the size of the game that you're actually downloading. So like if you're downloading like a two gigabyte game, it's going to take a little bit longer. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It depends on how how big of a file the game is. But since I already did this, I don't really have to wait. So once but like I said, this is I, I can't stress this enough. Wait for it to end. Because if you don't, and you want to take the game to the Dolphin emulator, it's not going to load correctly. It's going to tell you that the disc cannot be read. So make sure that you wait until that pinwheel finishes. So let's actually go back to unzip since I already did that. Once you have done that, all you have to do now is go on the game. Like let's say for example, um, Battle for Bikini Bottom, right? You go over here. It, this is the ISO. You press I. And you say open in and then you go to open in dolphin.ios once that is done you go back to dolphin ios and all you have to do like you might not see it at first but all you have to do is just refresh and you see the little rom so that's pretty much all you have to do uh just click on the game um, there's some options right here uh let me show you guys how this works real quick for controllers because some of you guys might have an xbox and a playstation controller so to do that all you have to do is go on the settings and for example I have an Xbox controller so go to Bluetooth so right here I have a DualShock 2 that's for my 8-bit Doe controller all you have to do for the Xbox controller is press that little pair button on the top of the controller and let the color blink or let, let the Xbox light blink until it is discoverable on your uh, device and once you press on it it will let, it will let you connect it and from there, you could just go on to pretty much button map the entire, pretty much the entire thing. So yeah, uh, for me right here, I, I basically use the DualShock controller. Um, it's not connected because, you know, I'm not playing right now. But yeah, it works pretty well with or without a controller. Let me show you guys how this works real quick. So let's go on Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's just wait for it to load. But before you do that, there's a little menu right here, like a down arrow that you could actually set up your controller. So if you don't have anything, you could just go to uh, change touchscreen controller or, you know, you go to your settings, go to standard controller. You might see I have a dual shock, so let's just take that off, put touchscreen, press yes. And you could just change your controller settings there just in case you don't want to use it anymore. So you can see the buttons right here. They work pretty well. They're pretty actually, they're, ac they're actually pretty accurate and it is pretty amazing. 
So once you do that, let's uh, just press start over here. And it does work pretty well. Let me show you guys. So here's my little file, Battle for Bikini Bottom. You know, I did play a little bit with the controls and they honestly, they aren't that bad. So yeah, that, that is pretty amazing. So yeah, look at this. So it runs freaking perfectly. But of course, like I said, it depends on what system you have. If you have an iPad Pro third generation, it's probably gonna run like a charm, which it actually does right here. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And it, and it just, wow, it just looks amazing that you could play this. But I recommend keeping the graphics settings at the lowest because it does, it does lag the game a little bit. So yeah, just make sure it's just at native uh, 480p, so yeah. But yeah, that's anyways, that's going to cover today's video. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Make sure to share this with everyone if you can. And um, that's pretty much it. So once again, my name is Triforce Addiction. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. And enjoy Battle for Bikini Bottom on your iDevice.